In this video, exciting stuff, one of a series of many videos, slips and slides. So I'm gonna get Kerry to come in and we're gonna do a sugar bush. This is a very advanced concept. Um, I think you could almost do it with anybody as long as the other person was a very high level socially, but really it would be for like if you're doing a Jack and Jill or especially a strictly competition or maybe a routine and you wanna put it in. So if we started off doing a basic sugar bush, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, what would I need to do to change this? I would need to get Kerry to dance off the track in my sugar bush. One, two, three, and four. When I get to here, I wrap the hand over. An escort position. So I'm in an escort position, walking five, six, Kerry's going to stay with me, not get too excited. She's hooked under the arm. I'm actually going to drop into this a little bit more and then go and slide. As if I run with them. And she will run or whatever speed that she feels she needs. If I had heels on, which I normally would when I'm dancing competitively, I would actually be able to slide for quite a long distance. So just to see that sugar push from the other direction, Shane brings me in and on the three, he redirects me. So I'm still moving forward on the three. It's really after the three. So he goes one, one two, two, three, and, and four. Uh, and that's when he puts himself into escort position. My and hand is actually up. underneath his armpit. His left arm is over the top. So she's going to stay ready to step on that left foot. Depending on how long he takes to run, I could be triple stepping or he could run right away and I go forward right away. And that's when and he hit the slide, the slide and then a heel if I've got heel shoes. Just to show it slow motion right now, go ahead and walk out a little bit further and put your weight into the armpit. So I'm actually supporting, he's going to drop down. Yeah, and you have the momentum that's going to carry you to make it easy to keep that movement and then the guy just presses up and comes back to both feet. Yeah, so let's do that again to show the slide. Sugar push, redirect, three and four. He scoops that arm into the escort position. Five and, two walks. Five and six. And then he drops and I keep running behind him. Yeah. So we'll go more fast motion. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven. Now at that point in time, Shane can decide how far he's gonna drop. That one we just demoed, he hardly dropped at all. And so I was just there to keep the momentum. Forward motivation, right, exactly. Um, the more comfortable he feels, the more weight he would put onto me. So yeah. can we just show that, even though we're not gonna do the full side because of distance to the wall, we just wanna show this the other direction. One, two, three, and four. He hooks himself into the escort position. Five and six, and I use the motivation forward with that side of my body. Yeah, it's quite an advanced movement. But if you go back and look at videos of our performances, a lot of times I love my heel slide. <laughs> and so I've done them in a lot of uh, routines. Okay. That'll give us enough room to slide. And one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and ooh, there he goes. And then I would walk it out, bring my track back, and then we would be ready to dance out our basics again. And I think you might have been thinking over there while we were talking, but yes. Yeah, but you're just going into a basic. But we're going to put lots of, lots of these types of moves on camera for you to see. Um, let's try dancing into music. Do you have something? Can we show it one more time this way so you can see you dancing Yeah, let's go music, baby. Country will do. 